Here we have five mystery AT PCs. Today, we're going to investigate what's inside all of them, and then part them out. Let's get started. Well, to start things off, let's go ahead and look in this mini AT tower. It looks in really good condition and has a Pentium sticker on the front. This system may very well be something like a Pentium 60, though we'll have to investigate further by taking the lid off. And as we can see, this doesn't look like a Pentium 60 at all. We've got a 486DX266 PC. Amazing! And what's even more amazing is the fact that we don't have one of those pesky barrel batteries on this PC, instead an external one. So the motherboard's in pristine condition with no battery leakage whatsoever. Very nice. Let's go ahead and have a look at what cards we get in this system. And the first one appears to be a network card. And wow, I'll say for sure that this card is very dusty. This is going to need a good cleaning. But yeah, ISA network cards are really rare, so I'm very happy to have one now, finally. This next card appears to be a multi-IO one, but not just any multi-IO card, a Visa Local Bus one. Very nice. Going ahead and pulling it out, which was a difficult task, it's been sitting in here for probably well over 20 years. As we can see, yeah, that does appear to be a Visa Local Bus multi-IO controller. Very nice. And what we're left with last is the video card, which again is a Visa one. Very nice. Now that we've got all the cards taken out of the system, we can go ahead and remove the motherboard. I'll just unplug the AT power connector, and yeah, as we can see, it slides out pretty easy. Wow, it's very nice to see a good quality Visa motherboard finally in my possession. And as we can see, we have an AMD 486DX266 CPU, a great choice for some retro DOS gaming. The only thing I don't like about this motherboard is that it doesn't have 72 pin memory support. But on the plus side, we don't have to deal with a pesky battery, so that's always nice. Once we've gone ahead and taken out the CPU from this weird early socket, yeah, that's a really nice condition chip. And yeah, we've got some really good parts from this system. I honestly might throw together a little 486 system and make it into a video with this. It'll be a fun project. And look at those lovely Visa capabilities. I haven't actually owned a good quality Visa motherboard until now. And look at that lovely battery. It is not on the motherboard, so that is always nice. Awesome. Here we have our next contestant. Another little mini AT PC. Let's go ahead and take the lid off. Looking inside as we can see... Oh no, is that the logo I think it is? PC chips. Yuck. And yeah, that sure is a PC chips logo. And guess what else? It's an integrated CPU. How rubbish is that? And also, look at that, a barrel battery, which has leaked everywhere. Anyway, let's go ahead and take the cards out of the PC. First of all, we get this Trident VGA card. Pretty average for its time, would suit a 386 system better though. Next, we get an ISA network card. Nice! And lastly, a regular ISA multi-IO controller. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the motherboard now, so we can get a closer look at it. And yeah, look at this 486 motherboard. This is probably one of the cheapest ones I've ever seen. And it has an integrated CPU too, which is rather odd. And yeah, it's a PC chips one. No good. And look at that battery, it's completely destroyed the motherboard. How sad. And yeah, let's just go ahead and remove this barrel battery, but I think the most of its damage is already done. It was pretty hard to clip it off actually, it wasn't cooperating at all. But yeah, it came off eventually. Even the hot glue came off with it. How bad is that? 
gosh, what a sad sight. Anyway, we got some alright parts out of this system. I'll definitely be able to use them in other systems, but that motherboard is toast. Anyway, on to the next system. This one appears to be the same case as the last one, so let's have a look. It appears to be exactly the same as the last PC we just opened, so I'm just going to skim over this one, not cover each part. And yeah, look at that, another decimated 486 board. Shame. Anyway, let's go ahead and remove the only valuable thing, the RAM stick, and pull this horrible battery off. And yeah, we got some average parts out of this system. Same as the last one though. Anyway, now let's move on to this PC, which has a different case design and a turbo button, as well as an LCD display. So yeah, hopefully there's something better in this one. I'll go ahead and remove the lid. And yeah, would you look at that, there is indeed something different in this system. Nice! Anyway, let's go ahead and unscrew all the expansion cards and see what we've got inside. The first thing we have is another ISA network card. I'm beginning to think all these systems were used in some kind of terminal array. Anyway, next of all we have a standard ISA VGA card, just like the other ones. And yeah, that's all the cards in this system. Looking closely at the motherboard, we can see we have a CR2032. Amazing. Taking the motherboard out, we can see we have a pretty nice 486 motherboard with PCI. We also get a Texas Instruments 486DX280 CPU. How interesting. Also, we've got some real cache on here, but I think this might be a PC chips motherboard. Though I'd be interested to see how it performs considering it looks pretty good. But look at that Texas Instruments chip, how lovely is that? We got some pretty decent parts out of this system. Nice! On to the next one. This is our last PC, and it appears to be the same as some of the previous ones we've opened. Anyway, turning it around and opening up the case, on the inside we can see, after unscrewing all of the cards, that first of all, we have a multi-IO card. Nice! And moving along, as we can see next, we have an ISA network card. And last but not least, we have a Trident VGA card. But yeah, upon taking the motherboard out, as we can see, it's one of those PC chips ones. Yuck. I'll go ahead and remove the 72 pin memory stick though. And then I'll also go ahead and clip off the barrel battery. It's a real shame that these boards are destroyed. I mean, they're nothing special anyway, don't get me wrong. But still, a 486 system is a 486 system at the end of the day. A nice PC. Yeah, this motherboard, it's, it's completely toast. It's no good at all. Look at that. What a sad sight. Anyway, now I'm actually going to go ahead and use some compressed air to dust down all of the parts, since they're really dirty. And yeah, look at that. It just makes the motherboards look brand new. And check this out, look how much dust just flies off of this Visa card. Amazing, hey? You look at that, a lovely pile of clean 486 hardware. I'm definitely going to be doing some builds with this hardware in the future, so be sure to stick around for that. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.